Greetings and salutations and welcome to another edition of the YouTube channel Too Many Plugins. I'm your host Alex and today we're going to look at a very strange plugin. It's called Motion Harmonic Light, a distortion plugin by Excite Audio. Uh, this plugin is a, a kind of a weird one. This It's a... Um, uh, motion harmonic opens up new frontiers in distortion filtering and bit crushing, placing you at the center of a dynamic and responsive sounding shape experience. Uh, what this plugin does is, uh, uh, it works by the way as a VST plugin and a standalone. Uh, what you can do is so you can create here, yeah, the hexagon allows a pulsating and reactive 3D object in the main view, offering six macro sliders that control the distortion, bit crushing and filter parameters under the hood. These sliders then react to a, a magnetic curve whose pads can be determined uh, by any of the presets. So uh, it's a kind of like macros, you know this. This works with uh, with macros, so you can uh, actually uh, create, um, uh, how do you call that, uh, uh, movement and, um, uh, how do you call that, um, uh, you can uh, actually make uh, this distortion uh, plugin dynamic that is just dynamically changing all the time, which is kind of interesting. And also the fact that it works as a as a standalone plugin. So uh, uh, the six sliders act as macro controls for any distortion filtering or modulation parameters in the plugin. The sliders themselves are then moved by a magnetic field surrounding the mouse cur cursor. Your cursor movements can be played live or pre-programmed and his motion with the hexagon uh, can attract or repel uh, macro sliders. In addition, uh, effect parameters assigned to the center of the hexagon mean, mean the incoming audio level will be uh, modulating uh, their properties. So uh, full, uh, full modulation. Uh, um, it's a bit of a weird um, weird setup. I uh, purchased the, the the light version of it. Uh, that is, uh, where is it? Yeah, this one over here, that's the light version that um, doesn't have here uh, this advanced um, um, settings over here on the site. So uh, it's a little bit uh, more uh, limited for, uh, uh, you can make even an upgrade if you have the light version, you can make an upgrade for more 29 euros to get uh, the full version uh, that gives you then all sorts of effects and uh, uh, parameters here uh, to the site. So uh, interesting plugin, let's just uh, load it up over here and uh, we'll have a look at uh, 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 motion harmonics. Uh, so in this moment we have a deep vocal over here. Uh, I think uh, now uh, uh, the plugin is not working as far as I understood it well. Um, so if we turn it on, let me turn it on. And now we should uh, be able to uh, to listen to uh, 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 the actual plugin in action. If you uh, uh, um, push this uh, tooth wheel over here, configuration settings, you get in these parameters where you can then uh, start, uh, so you can here, you can already, uh, of the six parameters, you can uh, change here uh, the settings of it. Uh, and then you can, uh, like this, you can uh, make them all uh, move in and out like this. So you see, you can create here uh, uh, modulation and automation and macros, basically. Uh, then we go to the second one over here. Uh, this can, uh, you see, pushes them all out in one. So the other one is uh, just a slider like uh, like this to create all sorts of crazy waves to uh, uh, push those uh, LFOs and macros in and out. Uh, so uh, modulation. Uh, so uh, this one uh, pushes them all just out uh, gradually and then back in. And then over here, this one over here makes them go all in. You see that? And then this one makes them all go out. So uh, that's basically the way that works. And uh, if you do it over here, then it's a, a little bit more random. So if you then turn this one off, let me see this one over here. Now we can again do the this kind of uh, rotating modulation over here. Then we put uh, this one on, we can uh, push them out again. And then if we put this one in, we can push them in again. So that's basically the way that uh, works. Now, I don't have the full version. So if you click over here, it says here, activate to uh, get uh, uh, the full the full version uh, in the sense that you get then here still a setting here with uh, uh, parameters and with envelopes and uh, a bunch of effects and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, uh, quite interesting that, but you can achieve that also just by placing that uh, some effects modules or uh, um, LFO or... Um, uh, any any kind of plugin uh, behind it in your DAW. So uh, there you go, your DAW, you can yourself with some uh, uh, third party effects plugin or with the, the internal effects of your uh, DAW, you can also uh, create uh, 
um, uh, effects and stuff going on. And then you can also automate them to create LFOs and the modulation. So uh, a very, very interesting uh, plugin over here. Um, you know, uh, go here uh, through some, I hope that this works now. Let me see, this works. Uh, yeah, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, now he just locks it over here. Now he cannot do anything. And now we can here change it over here. So uh, we'll go here through some uh, presets. And now when you do this, you see now everything is locked over here. Now we cannot do anything. So uh, and this one is, by the way, on or off? It's off. So just here, go through some uh, parameters. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Hello, audio. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, audio. So what we have over here is uh, we got in all. We got uh, some settings for synths. We got some settings for Vox. So that's voice. And uh, let me go up over here. Sorry about that. My mouse is a little bit uh, janky. So uh, we got here some uh, stuff for 808s and basses and stuff like that. The BS section over here. CRV, that's uh, uh, AM radio. Um, uh, a, a bunch of settings over here. Then uh, we have DRM, a bunch of settings over here. Then we have Evo, a bunch of settings over here. Uh, uh, GTR, I think that's guitar, you know. Uh, and SP, I don't know what that stands for. Um, so yeah, you can uh, go here uh, through it and have uh, all sorts of uh, crazy, uh, uh, how do you call that, uh, presets already going. So we go here through some stuff over here. Hello, audio, 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 audio. So it's by itself just uh, uh, changing that. Uh, default, so we go now That's to this one over here. Hello, audio, 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 audio. Audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. Then we go through some basses, audio, boom, boom. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, audio, audio. Oh. Uh, no, actually just locked up. I don't know why is that, but... Hello, audio test, audio test, hello, audio. So let's go in through some other settings over here. See if you extract, hello, audio, audio. Try this one of old radio. Hello, audio. Welcome to 174 FM. 1122112. Hello, audio, radio station, radio station. SW radio station. Hello, hello. Let me see what we have over here. Abstract scene, cardboard tube. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Hello, audio test, audio test. Audio test, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. I'm picking some other uh, presets over here. Hello, audio, audio, audio. One, two, one, two, audio. One, two, one, two, audio. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, audio. Audio test, audio test, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. And by the way, uh, not listening to what I'm doing now, otherwise I get feedback. Uh, so because I'm running out as a standalone, if I uh, put my audio here going, then I get feedback through the microphone. Uh, hello, audio, audio. So this is for breaks, dynamic drive. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Audio test, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio, audio, audio. I go to some other presets over here. Hello, audio, test, audio, test. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Audio, test, audio, test, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Audio, audio test, audio, audio, test, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. Audio, audio, audio. Hello, audio. Audio, audio. Okay, we go here back over here. We'll put it back here to uh, vocal, vox. Uh, yeah, we'll go here to some voices over here. Hello, audio, audio, audio test, audio test. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test, audio test. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. Audio, audio, audio. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, audio, deep vocal. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Deep, deep vocal. 
Fuzzy vocal, probably very distorted. Audio, audio. Audio test, audio test. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. Audio test, audio test. Probably vocal doubler, second vocal. Audio, audio. Uh, Slappy, hello, audio. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, audio. Speak and spell. Audio test, audio test. Hello, audio. Speak and a spell. Let me see this over here. Welcome to Motion Monitor. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Hello, audio. And default. So uh, there you go. Uh, let me just turn this off over here. Um, go by the way back, actually. We put it back uh, to a deep vocal. Uh, second hand spell. Uh -huh. Deep vocal. We go to deep vocal. So, uh, but uh, there you go. Um, so you can over here uh, uh, adjust all of that and create uh, crazy audio effects. Hello, audio test, audio test. Hello, audio, 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 audio. Let me go here again, back over here. Hello, audio. I don't know if this is going to make so much difference in just deep vocal setting, but audio, audio, hello, audio. And then over here, I don't find this, by the way, the easiest interface over here. I think it's a little bit uh, strange interface, but there you go. Here he pushes it in. Hello, audio, 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 audio. And then here, I think he pushes it out. Yeah. Within the parameters of deep vocal, which doesn't have the greatest uh, settings, of course. It's uh, not, uh, not so much distortion going on. But uh, interesting uh, uh, plugin. Um, very, very, very interesting, to be very honest. And um, also because it works as a standalone, and that is a thing that you actually don't really see with distortion uh, harmonica plugins. So uh, this works fully as a as a standalone. I need to figure out a little bit more how that works over here with these settings over here. I find it a little bit confusing this how you can uh, can alter this. I know this you can here just uh, set here uh, uh, the modifiers. Sorry, the mic. Uh, yeah, the modifiers or uh, the macros here uh, separate for each setting uh, that you can just do. But uh, uh, the rest uh, over here, I find it not uh, the easiest uh, uh, workflow to be on. It's a little bit confusing how this works over here, but uh, we'll figure it out in the same. I mean, uh, you know, all things with time uh, will uh, explain themselves. Uh, uh, interesting uh, kind of niche uh, plugin because there are not many standalone plugins for distortion. I think the only one is from uh, uh, Modal uh, Modalix. It's uh, the Boss Fizzer or the Boss Bit Fuzzer. I think the name is that one. Is I think that one works also as a standalone plugin, but uh, that one is a uh, uh, way, way harder uh, distortion plugin. This is a harmonic also distortion plugin, but uh, a little bit more saturation, a little bit more e easygoing distortion plugin. Depends, of course, which settings you are using. Uh, full version probably have more presets, and you have then here this panel over here where you can get here. We have still effects and uh, 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 modifiers and LFOs. Uh, uh, and envelopes you can adjust as far as I understood it. Uh, so interesting plugin, 50 bucks for the light version, 80 bucks for the full version with the extra uh, effects and stuff uh, on the side of it. Uh, uh, am I going to use this a lot? I don't know. I need to still figure that out. Uh, I think it's an interesting plugin. Um, uh, me, myself, I don't know if I'm going to use this really a lot. I uh, just, uh, just got it. Um, Interesting uh, plugin, especially as a standalone. Myself, I use also uh, uh, Berserker by uh, Waves Audio. I use Indent by Infiltered uh, Unfiltered Audio. I use uh, uh, Bitfuzzer or, or, or uh, yeah, Bitfuzzer by uh, Modelix. I use as a, a distortion plugin, and I got like three or four uh, other paid uh, distortion plugins. Uh, so. Uh, there you go. Interesting plugin. I don't know if I'm going to use it a lot in my workflow, but uh, this, for example, is also nice just as a standalone. You don't need to use a DAW. You can just run this like this, and uh, and uh, that's actually quite uh, quite handy. That also a little bit lower on resources like that. So uh, even for streamers or for podcasters or uh, people making videos uh, uh, or uh, even to uh, give some extra harmonics uh, to uh, even uh, uh, something uh, you're doing uh, when you're just uh, with your webcam and some audio, uh, your microphone doing something stuff is actually uh, actually an interesting uh, plugin. Uh, do I think it's worth 50 bucks for the light version or 80 bucks? I doubt that a little bit. Uh, I think that many, uh, there's so many plugins out there, you know, that uh, 
you know, and the, ma- the market is so saturated, you know, that the, for the prices that I sometimes see them asking for the things and then even sometimes free solutions being around and, you know, sometimes I doubt a little bit uh, the price they ask for a certain uh, plugins. Uh, but I don't know, of course, how much time and money went in the development of them, but uh, I think that uh, with such a saturated market and so many uh, uh, paid uh, um, uh, plugins, some that are plugins that do several things, things at the same time for uh, the price that other ones go for just one uh, one plugin and then also sometimes uh, free versions being available, uh, I uh, doubt sometimes a little bit uh, that uh, that they sell a lot uh, of these uh, plugins with such a saturated market and so many options available, both paid and free. Anyway, this was Motion Harmonics by uh, Excite Audio, so uh, you can find it on Plugin uh, Boutique, it's 50 euros for the light version and 80 euros for the version with the effects next to it, and probably a bunch of extra presets. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that Motion Harmonics, it works both as a standalone and a VST plugin. Until the next time, stay safe, take care. I'll catch you in the next video.